Hello, everybody. Welcome to Online Marketing Moves, the podcast where we discuss strategy, motivation, and mindset you need to create a full-time income online. I am your host, Tom Rizzano. This is episode 228. And today we are going to talk about using social media to grow your brand, <clears throat> grow your business. And we are going to spotlight one DJ Khaled. Since I saw it was the Grammys yesterday, I figured we, we would do somebody musical today. Now, <clears throat> I remember DJ Khaled. He came out in 2005, 2006, I believe. Well, that's when he sort of got you know on the radar music-wise. Heard a few of his songs. They're pretty good songs. Then I remember around 2012, 2013, DJ Khaled, he really blew up. Like, not just in the, for the music, but just like on the national a national name in 2012 2013 because he started doing all the social media stuff especially snap we'll focus on snapchat he was heavy on snapchat every day he was posting every every day it's like he was just giving you different different things he was he was talking about the soap he used he was standing by the pool he was talking about working out you know it was everything he was giving you a lot of different things, a lot of different motivational posts, and they, a lot of motivational quotes, and they were very entertaining. He he was a very entertaining guy, you know. So you start showing him more of his personality, and uh, it was, it was great. It worked out quite well for him because he just went from, you know, people knew him in the music business. You know, he worked with you know, a few artists, Lil Wayne and Rick Ross, and all these people, but. A lot of times he was sort of in the background. I mean, he was the guy screaming, we the best, you know. So we listen to hip hop and you knew who he was. But, you know, once he started doing the Snapchat, then he started. I remember I saw him on a, a, to- a TurboTax commercial. I saw him, saw him on a couple of national commercials. I've seen him on the Super Bowl ad. So it's like, you know, he started building his own personal brand, you know, DJ Khaled, we the best. And I remember he was in the movie Pitch Perfect 3. So he and he was also in like bad boys. So <clears throat> from doing all the social media, you know, just building, just working, working hard at it. He went from, you know, maybe a regional name to a national brand. So <clears throat> it just goes to show you that sometimes just because you are good at something, you want you got to let you got to let people know that, hey, I, I am here. Hey. I, I want to be seen. Hey, I'm here to market myself, you know, <clears throat> and that's what he did. He put himself out there and that's what we all have to do because especially in the music business, if you, the music business is very fickle now, you know, people come out with one or two songs and you might not ever hear from them again. And that's, I mean, it's always been that way, but de- it's definitely now. So you might come out with one or two hit songs and then you have to try to parlay that into other different adventures and how do you do that of course you build a following you you know you say hey i got these many people following me you know on these different platforms and then you can do you know you can get ad revenue you can get sponsorship you can get commercials you know it's just how you want to work it and that is just the name of the game nowadays especially in a a fickle the fickle music business because you never know because there's a lot of people i see and they do one or two songs now and they're like all right i'm doing commercials i'm acting i do everything else but music i guess so it's like you know but it's just the time it's just the times we live in so the most important thing is <clears throat> use social media for what it's there for you know don't get swept up in you know don't get me wrong it's cool to look glance every now and then but when it's time for you to post the content make sure you post in the make sure you post in the content make sure you find somewhere that you can post content every day you know you want to come every day you don't want to miss too many beats you don't want to miss too many you know times because you started growing you start growing <clears throat> and you want to once you get on a roll you really want to start pushing it because the more you push it the better off you will be you know if you Start posting every day. These people, they'll start looking for you. And they will. They'll be like, all right, I haven't seen a post of them all day. I wonder what's going on. And people will really be, you know, and that's when you know you have a following. That's when you know you have a, you know, that's when you know you're growing. They're like, hey, you know, I haven't seen you. You know, everything is all right. You know, people will start sending you messages, you know, and it's great. So 
the end of the day, be like DJ Khaled, okay? Find something that works. Find, you know, if you have to in the beginning, whatever whatever thing you want to do, you know, post, you can always, and then you can, you don't have to, you could take, you could take your, I, I've learned this, you could take a video you've done on, you know, TikTok or Snapchat, and you can post it on Instagram and vice versa. So it's not like you have to keep coming up with this different stuff. You can just put one to the other, to the other, to the other one. You can share it, you know? So <clears throat> then eventually you see one that's really working for you and you just sort of, you know, you can just sort of forget about the rest of them and you can just try to figure out how you can monetize that social media platform and take it from there get leads if that's what you want to do get leads or get ads or you know because i see all these people i see these influencers and like hey i got i'm i'm a brand spokesman for something and they probably get paid i don't know how much but they get paid <clears throat> but the main thing is you want i the main thing that end of the day and that's what worked for dj Khaled. the more eyeballs that you can get attracted the more eyeballs you can get on whatever you have going on the better off you will be okay nobody's gonna toot the horn for <laughs> nobody's gonna toot the horn for you but you so take 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 this short podcast and do with you and do what you want with it but remember at the end of the day it's gonna be you you know nobody else is going to do this stuff for you nobody's going to do the social media for you you know eventually you might want to you might can hire somebody if you you know get on the right track but in the beginning just do the stuff just do it every day <clears throat> you might not get the results you want at first but eventually you will get there and you will keep going you will keep going and eventually you start you'll start to see some results you know it might be a month might be six months i know people don't want to hear that it might be a year but the main thing is to just keep doing it keep doing it See what's working for you. See what's not working for you. <clears throat> you know, and take it from there. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you one th one thing that I've you know, I noticed in my that I like I like I'll give you an example. I noticed on the podcast. I do the podcast seven days a week. You know, Saturdays and Sundays are like the lowest, the lowest listenership for the podcast. So it's like, do I keep doing it on Saturdays and Sundays for right now? Yes. But after the year's over with, no, we'll probably just go Monday through Friday or, you know, two or three days a week, you know, to 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 get better with the content, to be able to do more research into the content, do more guests, things of that nature. So you not you as we always say in this on this podcast, the most important thing is you get started, then figure out where you want to go and start going. You know, you might have to change a little bit, but. You know, just keep going and use the social media. Don't let the social media use you. Figure out which, you know, whichever one's working for you. And then just keep going and keep going. And then learn how to monetize it. You'll figure it out. There's different ways. There's plenty of books. There's plenty of articles that you can read to learn how to monetize, you know, your social media following, your, you know, lead generation following, you know, <clears throat> how, whatever you want to do with it, you know most important thing is you learn how to monetize the situation all right and you take advantage of the situation because what's the point of having a <laughs> it would what's the point of having a million followers if you're not going to monetize the million followers you know it's kind of it's kind of i don't know i wouldn't say backwards thinking i mean if you had a million followers and you was just like i'm cool with that i don't, I don't i'm not looking for nothing else i guess but you know me me personally I get a million followers. I'm looking to monetize that in some kind of way. So I hope you are doing the same thing because at the end of the day, all of us that are, that listen to this podcast, we are looking for something different besides working, you know, jobs. We want to be entrepreneurs. We want to be on our own. So I hope you can learn how to monetize your situation. All right. So with that being said, that's it for the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you go out, start snapping, motivating like DJ Khaled. Nah. You don't have to exactly be like DJ Khaled, but go out there and create the content so you can start doing the things that you want to do. All right. That being said, we'll be back tomorrow with another hard hitting episode 
of online marketing moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.